What's up, mga squad? Welcome back to our channel. I am Lara Kabitbi. I am Edsel. I am Alan. And I am Dexter. And we are the Lead Squad. Lead to learn. Lead to be active. And lead to be fit. And for today's vlog, we will be talking about the benefits and some of the issues and concerns on the use of technologies in teaching the in health. So last night, we asked students and teachers through chats and asked them about the benefits and issues or concerns of using technology in teaching PE and health. So let's get started. According to teacher number one, the benefits of using technology in teaching PE and health are the following. First, integration. Second, it increases motivation. Engaging, it helps the teacher in his or her delivery of lessons, and lastly, it facilitates learning. In fact, according to studies, viewers retain 95% of message when they watch it in a video compared to 10% when reading it in a text, like books. Now, here are some of the issues and concerns of using technology. First, some learning styles can't be met. Second, accessibility of learners. Third, skills and other related abilities to manipulate technology. And lastly, irrelevant tech applications may be encountered. According to another PE teacher, the benefits of using technology in teaching PE and health are, first, it would lay beneficial ground on student self-learning and discipline. Second, Students would be inclined to technology-based or platforms that promotes health education such as your gadgets. And it includes your laptops, smartphones, and smartwatch that actually identifies your BMI, pulse rate in a faster way, and many more. And here are some issues or concerns of using technology in teaching pen health. First, students tend to be lazy on performing activities concerning physical activities. Second, promotes procrastination or the delaying of doing tasks. And for our respondent number 3 or comments number 3, ito kanyang sinabi. It is very evident that the respondent pointed out the benefits of the use of technology in teaching PN health especially in giving instructions to the students. And sa may last part ng kanyang sagot ay para sa akin, uh, ang gusto niyang i-point out is that we should not just rely on technology but when the teacher and the technology works together, we can be able to produce a more meaningful teaching learning process to take place. Benefits, mas mapapadali niya lang ang pagtuturo kasi ang mga teacher, pwede lang sila mag-suggest ng links for videos na pwede lang panoorin to supplement the lessons being discussed. Just like for today, napaka-useful talaga ng technology kasi nga, di ba, hindi tayo face-to-face, -face, pwede lang tayo mag-download ng app para maka-attend sa class natin. And now, puntahan naman natin ang aking mga ka-squad na si Alan at si Dexter para sa kanilang interview. Let's go! So, what's up mga kangem? So, nandito tayo ngayon sa Isabela National High School. At ngayon, makakapanayam natin ng isang mentor na kung saan ay kilala siya sa special program in the arts bilang teacher ng media arts. At ngayon, samahan niyo ako at kilalanin si Sir Jimmy Tumbaga Villabert. Tara na! Kamens, nandito na tayo ngayon sa INHS at kasama na natin si Sir Jimmy Williabert. So, bumati ka naman sa ating mga kamens, Sir Jimmy. Ayan, so maganda tanghali po mga kamens. Ako po si Sir Jimmy from Isabela National High School. So, ayan, diretso na tayo sa unang katanungan, Sir. So, sa tingin niyo po, Sir, ano ang mga beneficyo na itudulot ng teknolohi at pagtuturo ng PIA? Um, Bilang isang guro, ang siguro ay isang beneficyo niya. Mas na bibigyan mo ng emphasis pagdating sa pagdating. Kasi may mga bata tayo, visual learner, and pag nakikita nila yung ginagawa, well, mas na napagsagans, pag nakikita nila yung ginagawa nila, mas natututo yung bata. 
at mas na tatandaan kung ano man ang pinakita mo sa kanya. So yun siguro isa sa pinaka beneficial ng teknolohiya sa pagkakulong. Mm -hmm. So yan sir, narinigyan namin yung mga beneficyo na naman sa pagkakulong na kanya. So ngayon lang po tumungo naman tayo sa mga issues or concerns na nararanasan ninyo bilang guro sa paggamit ng teknolohiya sa pagkakulong ng PNL. Okay. So, uh, sa siguro sa issues and concern ko, hindi lang ako, kundi mga ibang guro din ay isa sa internet connection. Kasi, binigit sa akin, kaalaman ng Pilipinas ay napakabagal ng internet connection. Minsan, hindi nakakapasa ko yung sigarte, at tayo din mismo, tayo din, or ako mismo din mo guro, ay hindi nakakapasa dahil sa internet connection. So, yun yung isa sa issues and concern mismo ng mga gurong katulad ko na mabagal talaga ang internet connection sa akin. Ito ang mga naman sir, no? Na mismo kami talaga na estudyantes. Kailangan talaga ng mga internet kasi kailangan na yung matuto ng estudyante. So, yan. Maraming salamat, Sir Jamie, sa iyong uh, uh, ideya na pinapahatid sa ating mga kami. So, maraming salamat, Sir, sa iyong oras at uh, naway gabayan kayo sa pang-araw-araw ninyo. At magkaroon kayo ng malakas sa internet. So, Tama nga naman. Tama, internet talaga. So, ngayon, so, yun lang. Maraming salamat din dahil hindi ko yung pagkakataon ng mga sanggulo ng tayan. Kung ano ang mga issues and concern namin ako. Maraming salamat din. So, ayan mga kamems. So, maraming salamat sa panonood. So, bye! And, that's all for today's vlog! We hope that you enjoyed our vlog for today and we are looking forward for you to be with us again in our next episode. So if it's a yes, don't forget to like and share this video to your social media accounts. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell for updates and for more upcoming videos. Once again, I am Dexter. And I am Alan. I am Lara Kabindi. I am Edsel. And we are the Lead Squad. Lead to learn. Lead to be active. And lead to be fit.